<laughs> what do you want your notebook to be filled with this year? Your 2022 notebook. Dr. Seuss. Does... Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. Woo, it's New Year's Eve. I'm Spencer Cardia. I am Father Time. Father Time, just ticking on by. And this here is Frank. As you can see, me and Frank are matching. <laughs> we, you know, they say the way you end the year, you start the the, you, the rest of the year is going to be or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Me and Frank are going to be matching forever. Tis the season. You're, Tis the season. You do like this week. I, you wanted to connect it. I wanted to connect it. Since Christmas happened, I'm like, I, I want there to be a bridge between the days of the twenty the 25th and the 31st. Right. Or the 1st, I would say. And um, me and Frank are ringing true. Ringing on to the new year, as they yeah. say. I'm Father Time. You're the baby new year. I'm the baby new year. And um, yeah, it's good to be here. Another year just whizzing on by. Soon we'll be 80. Ain't uh, that something? Well, truth is be told no time is the father time is Is the father i never had (laughs) time is the father of truth oh is that it i'm still thinking about father time um father time and mother nature two things you can't get away from no i can't find it the most overbearing parents is what i say time yeah time is the father of truth um i think that means um you know, I think it's in the Bible too. Uh, everything will come to light. Everything. Whatever's done in the darkness will come to light. So, given enough time, the body will float. You know, yeah. <laughs> I don't, not the, exactly the way you're putting it, but I can kind of, <laughs> I can kind of see what you mean. All the secrets and all the good seeds that you've planted and the bad seeds you've planted. Yes. Will be. Yes, and, and I think that's true. You know, a lot of things are done in the dark. Yes. Both good and bad. Yeah. And. Sometimes you want to hide the bad, but more importantly, sometimes you feel like, especially when you're praying, it's like, I've done, I've done everything I can. I've done the good, right? Like, like it it happens just in prayer. Mm -hmm. It's like, I've been asking and asking. And the one thing that you need to give is the time is the time for things to come around. Patience. And you should understand, you know, like someone who does good deeds will be rewarded with time and obviously you shouldn't be doing good deeds thinking you're going to get rewarded right but know that no good deed goes unnoticed right and um in time you will be returned your deeds tenfold yes whether that be in this life or the next right (laughs) (laughs) but yeah i mean i don't even need to ask you what holidays are today because it's new year's eve New Year's Eve, Old Year's Night. Old Year's Night. It's um it is a awesome time. Um you know, it still feels like uh 20 no, we're coming out of 2019. The fact we're going to 22. I know, I'm so confused about 192021. 19. I saw a meme um and it was like uh because obviously the world has been almost at a standstill. Right. Stopped spinning right since since 2019 and someone's like a uh, as you know, it's called 2022, oh, like 2020 T-O. also. T-O-L. We still haven't gotten out of 2020. Ugh. But that's a negative thought. I think on a positive note, we're headed in the right direction. We always are. We always are. You know, um, we, we talk about life being a mountain. And uh, I was I, I I'm fascinated by these extreme climbers who climb like El Capitan. Uh-huh. And if you look at some of the routes that they take, there are points where because they're rock climbing it's not a hike where it's like i know where to go i go up and so you need to go where you're able to climb and there's times where they come in and they're at a slab of wall that's just completely flat and so you see the route goes up and then it goes at like a 45 degree angle down Hmm. and then finds a new a new crack line right to uh climb And, and that's what life is and in times where one you go backwards right like something happens or two what happens a lot is they traverse sideways right and and so you feel like what we just said oh life has been at a standstill and we're just traversing sideways to find that new glorious climbing holds to climb to the top that's right that's the way i like to think of it at least i like to think of it like that too um 
People might wonder why I, why I have a mask on. I don't think people are wondering at this point. A serious mask. Save yourselves. I'm smiling. Um, when I am vaccinated, I am boosted. Oh. Okay. But I am also caring for for uh, people who right now have active uh, COVID in- infections. Yes. Is it called infection? I don't know. Uh, COVID. Yeah. So, They're so. experiencing the COVID virus right now. Yeah. So... Since um, even though we talked about 2020, 2021, now we're going to 2022, there's still a lot of question marks and unknowns. Yeah. So I could possibly be carrying the COVID. Yes. I, I test myself and I test negative and I know that I'm vaccinated and boosted. But I don't know if I'm carrying it. And it's no problem at all to me to wear the mask yeah. when I go out about even in the house because you're going out tonight. I don't want to I don't want to um, impose on anybody when this is the very least I could do. And you know, it's funny, right? Um, we talk about sharpening the axe. It's one of my favorite topics here. And um, we've referred to it in many things. We're like, don't be afraid to become financially successful because right. then you can help others. And don't be afraid to put yourself first so that you, you can help others. And I think that's a huge part of what you're doing and what you can do in these times, which is you aren't wearing a mask to shame others no you are caring about yourself you're taking your vitamin c you're not getting exposed to anything and then when other people may contract covid for this example you have sharpened your axe and so now you can help others right where if if you were all sick like the same way if you gave if you you gave all away away all of your financial possessions that's good and that's great but now you're just another person who needs to be helped right and and so it is one of these things where we need to take care of ourselves. Mm-hmm. And then the goodness in that is not so then we can look at others and say, you dirt balls, you. No, it, it, it's so you can bring chicken noodle soup to our COVID, right. our COVID yeah. uh, ward I can upstairs. Bring, I can bring chicken noodle soup to the ward and I, and I cannot bring or I could hopefully not bring the COVID back downstairs. Back down to the world. Um, and, you know, in the Bible, it says what greater thing than to give your life for a friend uh, this isn't even asking for that it's just asking for some chicken noodle soup, <laughs> chicken noodle soup. just to, just to finish i i'm a little bit triggered this morning because i was watching a video from a roman catholic priest father daniel nolan um he's father already daniel nolan he's already been banned by i uh, um the catholic news agency he, oh. he's a, he's an anti-vaxxer he's an anti-masker and he's a priest and he's going around saying that, um, you know, don't be lied to by the government and so forth. And it just kind of triggers me because uh, whenever one person stands and talks, especially in a position of authority like that. Yeah. The Pope Francis said, I don't know what, why are people even questioning the vaccine? We've been getting vaccinations since we were children. Yeah. So he's the leader of the catholic church i don't know what's going on but it's it's just a reminder right that we we talk about all the time we we love we love um any person who spreads the good word but there needs to be a constant reminder that we are humans right and 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 you need to look at people who are giving you information as human Mm -hmm. Uh, uh you can right like we we always compare things to um to like teachers or parents yeah and in general we we, when we talk about oh you know god is a reflection of a parent and or and so the same way your parent does this for you there's bad parents and and there's parents that when you get to an age to be able to think clearly you're like well this isn't right and that it's it's the same thing with anything and the importance right is to grow up no it's to (laughs) get to that point when you don't want to you want to learn from people you want to learn from your teachers but ideally as a student imagine if you're in like a a phd thing the best thing you can do is get to a point where your teacher you can challenge them right and and, and you can make force them to think as well right like it's that's the goal it's not I want to live my life always just listening. It you you want to get to a point when kids grow up, they they can have conversations with their parents, right? And 
have their own own decision making and not just always be a blind follower to things because unless you're you're talking to to God himself or you know God's word right you're talking to another human another child of God yeah. who is on their own path and can stray away from the path they're individuals they're individuals you know and, and um when i was watching this video of this priest you know he is an individual who was ordained and then got his parish i think yeah. it's in um colorado maybe but then like you have to remember they're alone and yes they sometimes the spotlight goes on them and they might get reprimanded but generally speaking once you go through your training and then you get out there you're on your uh, they could be, if you, just be careful i always love this story when you're talking about teachers i always love this story about um there was a student and he was i don't know what part he missed but they were given this un, unsolvable problems yeah and he didn't realize that's what it was he thought it was homework and he solved them oh no yeah isn't that goodwill hunting maybe no oh, i i don't a, sim- a similar a, oh, okay. plot line but okay. he wasn't a student he was just a brainiac of a boston kid boston yeah. kid so um yeah we had the we had a podcast about this really about yeah. what was it it was, <sighs> it was really recently and it was about um oh it might have been a walk through um thursday it was just uh it was a walk through thursday yeah. cuz it was it was talking about oh i can get it um the wise men that's what oh, it was yeah, it was okay. oh yeah it was the wise men but not the wise men who found jesus right it was um what was it it was um, if you're so wise explain to me about yes, god yeah yeah mm-hmm. uh, was it isaiah yeah i think so okay but that's enough of that that talk because this is a celebration it's a new year yeah or it's going to be a new year and everyone looks back on 2021 and says oh boy it's we've been struggling so much with the pandemic and and with um job loss and with school debt Oh, it's so good to see it in our rearview mirror. It's so good that it's over. But it also was a part of our journey, and it was it was a blessing. Thank you, Hashem. Blood. Thank you, Hashem. And it goes back to that that mountain analogy, where these expert climbers don't look at that negative traverse right. as, oh, thank God we're we're done that. It's they are happy because they just yeah. completed another part of their probably climb. proud yeah because it's just the same as climbing up right they're getting to a point where they can climb a different route right and um every part of your if if you start looking at life um of uh good thing we got past this part good thing that uh, passed that part it it, it it takes away from from a lot of life uh, life right. is about the journey yeah it's not like what do we what are we rushing to what are we rushing to like it's it's a it's all about the climb. You're right. Something Miley like, Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. I um I also like it because as we go forward in life, we say I can do these future things because I did these past things. Like yeah. we got through that. Well, isn't, isn't If you're that, watching our show, you're alive. You're alive. You made it. And isn't also <laughs> that a um a, a biblical thing where if you look at David, my favorite guy, he was put through trials so that he was ready for Goliath. He fought the bear or that just came in his path, the lion. Right. It could have been different animals, but you get the point. And it was like, why would a boy, why would, you know, why would, why would God allow, you know, this David kid to come face to face with a lion? It's because he was that he, he, if he looked at that solely for what it was, he said, this is, this is baloney. That was the worst year of my life. I had a lion coming. I'm just walking home. I didn't even know there was lions in the right. Middle East. And, but if he could see in the future, he never would have been able to take on Goliath. Right. Had he not faced other issues, called on God to help him, realized that God was with him in all of those trials, and then he was able to succeed. And so then anything that happened well, he said, God was with me against mm-hmm. that lion. God's with me against that bear. God was on my side when it was David against Goliath, mm-hmm. the little shepherd's boy versus mm-hmm. the greatest guy from from what was it, the Persian army? Who was it? MVP. The MVP <laughs> on the uh, on the other side, and so then once he became the king and had all of the accolades thrown at him, he said, "The same way God was with me then, this is this is all, God put me in the position to succeed there. God put me in this position to succeed here, and all glory goes to Him." Yes. Yes.
Thank you, Hashem. But yeah, so new year, you know, always a little, you know, resolutions and all that. It's it's a fresh start, even if it's a continuation. We do like everything that we've been through, but we also we also like moving forward. Like the idea of the way I see it is this. I don't like looking at the new year or new year's resolutions as a etch a sketch, clean the slate, shake it, time to start up. New year, new me is what people will say. And you're saying, I don't want to be that person that I was this past year. Mm -hmm. I I don't want the life I had. Right. I look at it as we're writing a notebook, maybe maybe a a, a diary of life. And you ever write write notes in a notebook and you turn the page and it's just that fresh white leaf. Nothing changed from all the... You didn't want to tear out the other pages. Everything written is all good and and it's solidified in in that book. just building. But what is nice and when what I what I like is it's not just another line of New Year, in my opinion. It's an, a whole new page where nothing nothing is, is written on that page and everything can be purposeful that you start writing. And so use it as part. Use it as purpose. Like, oh, what, I, thought you had, do, I thought you had your hands out because you wanted something. <laughs> what, what do you want your notebook to be filled with this year? Your 2022 notebook. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> so, guys, we've been doing a little reoccurring segment. That's what I want my notebook to be filled with. Well, we have a little recurrent segment here on for Fun Fridays where we read a Dr. Seuss book and we you we just get some meaning out of it. You can get meaning out of anywhere. You know what? God created everything. Snapple cap. <laughs> Snapple caps. Well, Snapple caps just have meaning on their own. They're just awesome facts. <laughs> you, can get you, don't, you don't even need to look too deep. Mm-mm. But we, we, get, uh, we use Dr. Seuss books, fun and... and Good for the family. And then we just try to translate it a bit. Why not? Dr. Seuss won the mind. What was his real name? I have no idea. I I, I think it's... um. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I won't tell you. Nikola Jokovic? <laughs> Nikola Jokic. Never going to get it. I wanted to say the Greek guy's name, but I couldn't. Giannis Atentatokounmpo. I, I would have loved it. It's to. always the middle I can't get. And it was like Atantata. And then the end is Kumpo. But it's a tante to the middle, the transitionary thing. It's, such a, it's a long name. Anyway, today we're reading, What Was I Scared Of? I like that. So we did the year. Maybe you were scared last year because obviously we were coming from a very scary 2020 going into a scary 2021. Yeah. But we're here. We made it. We got through the 12 months. What was I scared of? Uh, I don't even have to re- like open the book yet. But I mean, I think it has such a big concept where... You know, like when when you just even without even being scared, like with worries, and then when things work out, what was I worried for? Yeah. And what was I scared of? What I always say um, is the problem with always living in fear is whenever you get past, or if you never get past it, if you ever get past it, you wasted all that time being in that right. fear. And so it's like, what was I scared of? Right. And then once you get to that realization, you realized you spent the last day, month, year, decade being in fear that caused nothing but negativeness. Right. And it's like, why Why was I scared? It could also be it. Right. Okay. Oh, includes over 50 glow-in-the-dark stickers. <laughs> that's, that's even fun. Even fun. That's even fun. That's even funner. That's even more fun. What was I scared of? Well... I was walking in the night, and I saw nothing scary, for I have never been afraid of anything. Not very. That's me. I'm never afraid. Then I was deep within the woods when suddenly I spied them. I saw a pair of green pants with nobody inside them. <laughs> I wasn't scared, but yet I stopped. What could those pants be for? What could a pants at night be standing in the air for? I don't know. And then they moved those empty pants. They kind of started jumping. And then my heart, I must admit, it kind of started thumping. So I got out. I got out fast. As fast as I could go, sir. I wasn't scared, but pants like that, I did not care for. No, sir. I like this illustration. It's so simple. It's, 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 it's like, actually, he illustrated it. Oh, uh, did he? The, uh, the beginning says written and illustrated by um, Dr. Seuss. By Dr. Seuss. After that, a week went by, then one night, then one dark night in Greenwich, 
I had to do an errand there and fetch some Greenwich spinach. While I fetched the spinach, I was starting back through town, when those pants raced round a corner, and they almost knocked me down. My thing with... I never know where to put the emphasis to get the rhyme right. Doesn't matter. I lost my Greenwich spinach, but I didn't even care. I ran for home, believe me. I had really had a scare. Now, bicycles were never made for pale green pants to ride them. Especially spooky pale green pants with nobody inside them. Pale green pants are scary enough. (laughs) And the next night I was fishing for Doubt Trout on River River. When those pants came rowing towards me. Well, I started into shiver. And now... And by now I was so frightened that I tell you, but I hate to. I screamed and rowed away and lost my hook and line and bait too. Those things get expensive. (laughs) I ran and found a brickle bush. I hid myself away. I got brickles in my britches, but I stayed there anyway. Mm. I stayed all night the next night too. I'd be there still no doubt, but I had to do an errand. So the next night I went out. I had to do an errand, had to pick a peck of snide. In a dark and gloomy snide field, there was almost nine miles wide. I said I do not fear those pants with nobody inside them. I said and said and said those words. I said them, but I lied them. Do that a lot. Well, fake it till you make it. Then I reached inside a snide bush and the next thing that I knew, I felt my hand touch someone and I'll bet that you know who. And there I was, caught in the snide, and in that dreadful place. Those spooky, empty pants and I were standing face to face. I yelled for help, I screamed, I shrieked, I howled, I yelled, I cried. Oh, save me from those pale green pants with nobody inside. But then a strange thing happened. Why, those pants began to cry. Those pants began to tremble. They were just as scared as I. I never heard such whimpering, and I began to see that I was just as strange to them as they were strange to me. The revelation. (laughs) I put my arm around their waist and sat right down beside them. I calmed them down, poor empty pants with nobody inside them. And now we meet quite often, those empty pants and I, and we never shake or tremble. We both smile and we say hi the end uh and the stickers in the back got the stickers i like that i like that a lot i like that a lot too um yeah shout out when what was i scared of unfounded fears unfounded it's it's multiple things right i think on just a fear perspective so you can look at what i was just saying of Once once he became friends with the pants he looked back you know, obviously, I don't know if he did, but of all of the time he spent, like where he was hiding, literally hi- hiding, hiding yeah. and, and you saw him rowing his boat, you know, but he was like, so he stopped fishing, like all these things. And it was like, you spend so much time running from something without understanding it. And then two, I like it on a person to person notion. I think there is um, a big correlate, like people tend to be afraid, not afraid. But people tend to be um, wary of uh, people that are different than them. Yeah. And how much of it is that seen from afar and even not on a physical level, but that person's different from me. Right. And so I'm going to stay far away from them. And then when you realize that, like, you know, uh, I don't know, I'm going there. Like, and the problem with it is, you can sometimes assume this person is so different from me. They don't like me. Right. Not realize that the person, like your whole, the whole basis of the separation of, of you is the separation of you. Yes. And it's like, well, I'm scared. And so it's very easy to get defensive. I would say it's very easy to get defensive of others, assuming that they are menaces right. or, and then you meet them. And it's like the only thing like I, I've, 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 isn't it always tough, right? Like, I've met people where it's always the worst feeling when you 
talk to someone and then they tell you what they first thought of you oh, right and it's like sometimes it's like you know for me it's like oh you're always intimidating right and not not by my big brawny stature as you can tell but like i you know even if i just like had a, a certain face on at a time or like the way i quiet the, or, yeah mm-hmm. and, and then you're like oh no like, like i had I, and then absolutely and then it can go back to the other so i i might just you know been walking around school campus one day with just like headphones in and not really think about anything and then someone's like oh this person looks a little intimidating right and so then if you only knew me yeah and so then i walk by this person and then they just like you know look down and then i'm like oh this person doesn't want to talk to me and then that continues and then finally a long time after you find out oh like and then you're like you almost wish just like the scared pants is like i wish from the get right and i think it comes down to a personal thing right Mm mm-hmm we have the ability to swallow our pride a little bit or or swallow our fears try to be the person who goes out of our way cuz it's not com- it was not comfortable for him to see the the pants but what he didn't know is it wasn't comfortable for the pants right and so i i think in life as christians as just m- people who want to live in a in a better society it's always good to put yourself out of your comfort zone. Right. And in doing so, you'd be surprised of how many people you bring out of their comfort zone. Yeah, you're right. I saw a um, a quote that I liked. I think it was from Seneca. Seneca! <laughs> which I guess is, was a philosopher or something. And it said something like, imagination is always scarier than reality yeah. or something like that. And um, that's so true. Yeah. because especially with dr seuss you, you 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 think of imagination in a good way yeah all the um like we talked about fantasy and the the whoville and yeah this this but but imagination could also be in the other direction of you it's not reality but you're imagining that something's going to turn into something really drastic or yeah. catastrophic or you're imagining that you'll be rejected or you're imagining so your imagination could it could take you um into negative places that aren't based in reality yeah you can imagine someone hates you or a group of people hate you yeah and so then you have a ton of walls up when you see this person right and then little do you know this person liked you and now they think you hate them right because it's like oh when you see me you just like you look away and right. you walk away and, and it's all it all starts from imagination and yeah. i think literally you know when when you're when it's a dark room and you start to see figures. I, you know, when I see Frank, I start or I see, you know, two cups and a bowl. I start seeing faces and goblins. Yeah, and it's like right. Your imagination can get the best of you. And what's the best thing to do in those moments? It's to turn the lights on. <laughs> and we no, need to just... turn the lights on in society. <laughs> well, you could use the glow in the dark stickers. You can use the glow in the dark stickers. <laughs> but yeah, imagination. It, it, you're right. I, I think it's a huge thing that can lead us down a path of i don't think yeah i think you never want to let your imagination run completely free run away it's from like, you yeah it, it, it obviously it can be good but even in the same way it's good right i think like it is not like having a a dream or a goal sort of an imagination but it's sort of you the idea just like our yesterday's um, podcast or i think you even said it today is about bringing things into the light yeah and I, and I think that's the important thing. If your imagination tells you something negative, you want to bring the truth into the light. And yeah. if 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 it's positive, you want to bring that into the light. And you said, you know, Father, what is it? Father Nolan. Time. Father Time. Is, oh, <laughs> I thought we were still mad at Father Nolan. No. Um, I'm Father Time. Yeah. The Father Time is uh the future. Oh, uh, the Father of Truth. The Father of Truth. Yeah. And, and is that not sort of this is is like. The idea is with our imagination, we want to bring truth out of it. Truth is what's important. Right. The truth of the matter in this book right. is that they both were scared of each other for no reason. Right. And that's what you want to. Yeah. And un- unfortunately, to. you know, I brought up Father Nolan at the very end again, which I didn't want to. But I just want to say that in, also in this video I watched, he was saying that uh, the virus is the devil. Mm. And it's like it's a virus. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a virus and we have medication and um, vaccination for it and, and tactics for dealing with this mutation. Yeah. But 
don't don't turn everything into dragons and demons. Don't turn everything into dragons into demons. Into demons. But that's it, guys. That is our Dr. Seuss Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. Go out and have a very safe New Year's Eve holiday. Start the New Year. 12th. Or stay in. That's what I said. You said go out. Oh, go out. Like, go leave this podcast. <laughs> um, and You're inviting people to leave our podcast. <laughs> leave, well, yeah, it's over. <laughs> no, um, play the next... Uh, play. There's going to be a square right here. Leave Hit it. and never come back. Don't leave the podcast. Um, And, you know, 12 o'clock today, you turn that sheet over and you look at those fresh Don't pages. Afraid. Don't be afraid. Look at those fresh pages and say, do I want to spend this year scared of the floating pants? Or is this year the first thing on my list going to be? I'm going to get to know this floating pants. You be the judge. Peace. Happy, Happy New, New Year. year. Oh,